Right, long awaited video now. It's my personal survival pouch. This is a two part kit. We've got a survival tin on the inside. So it all works together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna give you guys a brief size of the thing really. Um, we're looking at seven inches tall. At this widest point is three and a quarter inches. And the width at its widest point is four and three quarter inches. And the weight, I think it's only fair that we weigh it, just so we give everyone the right idea, is 1.1 kilos, which is quite heavy really when you think about it. Or an old money, it's 2.9 pound. So it's quite a lump. Um, that sits in my glove box in my vehicle at all times. Um, the first part of the video, this part one, is going to be um, the pouch and the outside stuff. The second part of the video is going to be the tin. So, we've got one of these little light markers on there. First things first. They will sort of run at least 10 to 15 years, doesn't need charging up. So you can see it in the dark, you won't get it lost. And we've got a little stainless steel S-beam on there to hang things. We've got a foil blanket, emergency space blanket. There's quite a lot there, as you can see. So, that is pretty much the outside of the pouch done already. So, let's see. There's quite a lot in there, as you can see. We've got a hank of true paracord there. We've got um, a really super bright little torch, actually. A little LED light there. Incredible. And also we've got a little clip that comes with it there. I'll take the pouch out now, just to make it easy to get other things out. <clears throat> That's the tin. It's gonna go on another video after this. And as you can see, we've got four little tampettes there, or tampaxes. These are all sealed in a waterproof container, so they're gonna stay dry. As you can see, we've got four of them lined up there. And underneath we've got three pieces of reflective sticky back tape for identification purposes. I'm not going to go through the reasons um, through every single item because it, it's just going to take about a two hour video. I'm just going to show you what I actually carry. Um, a backup lighter. An emergency whistle. That's Solaris approved by the way. Pencil with rubber or eraser. Now we've got this. Silky saw. It's brand new, never been used. And I do aim to get round to trying this out one day because I do believe we should all test the kit that we're gonna, uh, you know, one day maybe trust our lives in it. So that is waiting to be tested. But the reviews on that seem amazing. Lovely bit of kit that. It's the Pocket Boy 8. Obviously with an ice orange handle so you don't get it lost. A Recon 1 Tanto. After seeing the reviews in this little baby, I really wanted to make sure it was up to the task. So I tested it as you can see. And I'm very, very happy with it. And of course, razor sharp edge on there. Tough Trilock system on there. Oz 8 still, so she's not gonna rust too easy. Now these are a nice little item here. They're stainless steel razor blades, so they shouldn't really rust in theory. I'll open one up and show you. They're all sealed up and nicely in there. That's it there. Supermax stainless. So we've got a few razors going on. One, two, there's another two there. Ranger bands, very important for fire lighting. Bicycle inner tube really, you can cut them to any size you want. Another little s beaner there. Now inside we have waterproof paper right in the rain. I think there's five sheets there. That's pretty good to go. 
and we've got loads of backup emergency survival instructions. There's a bit of a refresher, signals, so on and so forth. And that is basically that for the pouch. It's a nice simple way to carry a lot of things all in one place. Now you'll see on the next video when I show you the um, survival tin how they both work together. So um, if you want to see that one look for out for the next video and um, we'll talk about that. Thanks guys, stay funky.